Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Every week, a member of staff or a volunteer will share a different work of art from the museum's permanent collection and pose some questions for discussion. My name is Alex Audie Callen, and I'm the manager of the Rosenthal Education Center, the family art making gallery at the museum. Today, I would like to share the work of an indigenous American artist named Kwa Ah. Kwa Ah, whose name means white coral beads, was one of the most influential contemporary native artists of the 19th century. She was born in the San Ildefonso Pueblo in New Mexico in 1893. She is also known by her Spanish name, Tonita Peña, and used both names to sign her artwork. Kwa Ah's pen and watercolor paintings focused on the role of women in Pueblo life both everyday events and ceremonial dances. She celebrated women's roles in Pueblo culture and placed them as central figures in her watercolors. In addition, many of her watercolors highlighted women's participation in traditional ceremonial dances and other sacred rituals. Even though she celebrated the roles of women in Pueblo culture through her art, Kwa Ah refused to be limited by those same expectations. In Pueblo culture, Pueblo women made pottery and Pueblo men painted pottery. Furthermore, only Pueblo men could portray living people in their art. Traditionally, women did not paint at all. However, Kwa Ah broke through that boundary and chose watercolor painting as her artistic medium. Kwa Ah's art was also an act of resistance against the federal government's cultural assimilation policy. Throughout much of Native American history, Especially during Kwa Ah's life, the federal government tried to force Native Americans to assimilate into white American culture and leave their own traditions behind. For example, in 1921, a federal law was put into place that banned sacred Pueblo dances. Since the traditional Pueblo way of life was under attack by the U.S. government, Kwa Ah decided to document the Pueblo traditions through her art. In particular, she recreated ceremonial dances in her watercolors to preserve them for future generations. The Cincinnati Art Museum is fortunate to have four works by Kwa Ah in its permanent collection, each representing a different sacred, sacred Pueblo dance, the Buffalo Dance, the Corn Dance, Eagle Dancers, as well as a portrait of a Pueblo drummer. They were donated to the museum in 1937 by a collector of Southwest Native artwork and Santa Fe art patron, Amelia Elizabeth White, in an effort to familiarize more Americans with contemporary Native artwork. In Kwa Ah's painting, Buffalo Dance, 13 performers dance against a blank background, like in many of her works. The viewer's focus is drawn to the performers represented in great detail. The central figure is a female performer. Kwa Ah always made a point to represent Pueblo women in all of her work. She also made sure to only paint dance rituals that would have been performed for, West, for Westerners, never private sacred rituals. What scenes from your life would you choose to paint for others to learn more about you and your culture? Thanks for joining me for Cam Look. Please check the museum's YouTube channel for more Cam Looks. Have a great day.